Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to be doing a model collection update for uh, everyone today. Uh, the last one I think was back in, uh, over a year ago actually, it was, it was at Christmas, uh, but not this past one, the, the year before. So it's been a really long time since I've done one, and uh, I've obviously gained quite a few models uh, since then. So I uh, figured I'd do one today, which is June 3rd, 2014, um, you know, the beginning of, uh, right before the summer. And uh, I don't know if I'll be gaining any new models over the summer, but you never know. Some new stuff comes out, I might pick uh, something up here and there, but I'm not really too sure. Uh, I did gain a couple new models uh, a couple days ago, actually. Uh, so I figured... Since I got those and uh, other ones before this, new crane models, this and that, uh, I figured today would be a good day to uh, to do a collection update. So I'll jump right into it. I'm going to go through pretty much all the models uh, that I have, just to give everybody an idea. Um, so we'll start right here. So there you go. There you got uh, the Caterpillar 5110B. Up here we have the... Komatsu PC-1100. I've done a lot of different custom stuff to that. A couple custom attachments, and I put custom hydro hydraulic lines on it. Uh, metal ones and whatnot. Um, moving over, we have the Cat 390D LME right there. That's a really, really nice machine made by CCM. Uh, next to that, we have the Caterpillar 3D5C. L. Uh, that one also is made by CCM. Uh, another amazing, highly detailed model. Uh, if you can still find them, I think eBay has them. If you don't have one, I'd get it. Spend the money to buy one because they're uh, they're limited edition and they really, really are uh, a great model to have. Both of them. Uh, moving over is the uh, Hitachi Zaxxis 870. Uh, it's made by WSI. Uh, also, just to shoot this out in case you're new to my videos, all of my models are in 150th scale. Um, except for the two CCMs, they're in 148th, but th the difference, uh, you can really not tell at all. Um, but otherwise, so here's the Hitachi Axis 870. That's a really, really nice model. Um, the bucket I have on it is made by uh, Jason Nickel, I believe his name is. Um, I bought that one with the shear attachment. Uh, but I usually just keep the bucket on for display purposes. Uh, over there, right here, we have the Cat 375. That's a really, really nice model. It's an older model. Uh, I got that at a pretty decent price at a toy show uh, about a year ago, a couple years ago, actually. And uh, it, was, it is a really, really nice model. I've done some little custom stuff to it. Uh, moving along, there's the Caterpillar 374D. LME, uh, made by Norscott, really nice model also, uh, decent amount of detail, uh, and it works great, really good range of movement and all that on that. Moving over, uh, those two, there's two Cat 365 BLs, one was a kit, and the other one uh, I've had since I was a little kid, and uh, both of them, I've, I have a ton of different custom stuff on them and for them and, and whatnot. Um, I've done a few, I've done a video before on uh, the custom attachments that I have for those models, but I might do another one because uh, I've, I've added some new things to them over time. Uh, moving along, uh, right there you have the Volvo EC650. That's made by Joel. It's really not the greatest model. I got it a long time ago, uh, probably about five years ago, four or five years ago, uh, I'd say. And uh, it's a, I mean, it's a decent model. I just really never use it. It really uh, sits on the shelf a lot, but. It looks good, you know, to throw in a, a mining dial or something, just have sitting there or whatnot. Uh, next to that is the Volvo EC uh, 700C, or 700B, actually, I think. I think it's the B series. Um, that's a nice model, too. I've had tons of problems with it. The tracks broke on it, had to fix them. Um, the dog bone linkage here uh, constantly falls off. At, uh, I'm going to be fixing that soon. And whatever. I mean, it's not a bad model, but I think it was overpriced. Uh, motor art uh, isn't. I've always had some different problems with motor art models. Either they're uh, great detail, but they're ridiculously delicate. You know, like you you can't move it without something breaking, or uh, or like in this case on a machine like this, you think they put metal tracks, but yet they put uh, the plastic ones. And the way they link them together just 
they broke extremely easy, but it happened. But it's still a nice model. I still like using it every once in a while. Um, next to that, we have the John Deere 470G LC. That's the newer excavator model made by Ertl. Uh, it's a nice machine. Uh, I like it a lot. At a decent price too, I think it was like fifty bucks or forty five dollars, which isn't bad. That's a that was what the uh, was actually it was a little more than what the old four fifty used to cost. And uh, right next to that is the uh, Hitachi Zaxxis four fifty. It's also a nice model, uh, made by Arnold. Basically, the they look the same. The body style is just a little bit different from the uh, four seventy. And uh, Hitachi and the Deer, they're identical models anyway. Uh, identical machines, the 470, 450s, same thing. Um, the 470 is the newer ones, 450 is the older one. Uh, but either way, both ni both very nice models. Uh, moving along, next to the 450, I have the Lee Bear uh, LR954. I think it's, I don't know actually. It's, it's a 954. I haven't really used this model in a long time. It's the uh, 954B. Uh, that's the high reach demolition model. Uh, I have the high reach boom for it also. That's the regular uh, excavator boom on it right now. Made by Conrad. I'd say it's overpriced. I think it went for like two hundred bucks when I got it. It was like one ninety five for it, and uh, it's definitely a lot of money for an excavator model, uh, especially one with you know minimal detail. But it ha it's, I, I just liked it, you know, because it had the high reach demo boom, and it was one of the only ones that were out there at the time. Moving along is the uh, Caterpillar 225. That's an older model. I believe it's made by Joel. Uh, not the greatest one, uh, but it's cool looking. It's an older machine, so it's nice to throw on a, a site, you know, if it's just sitting there or whatever, like an old machine sitting in the yard or whatnot, or taking it apart and whatever. It's, it's, a, it's a decent model. I got it for uh, 10 bucks at a flea market. Uh, moving along, right there we have the uh, new Cat 336E excavator. A uh, very nice model made by North Scott. Decent amount of detail on it. It's a really, uh, range of movement's awesome on it. Uh, it is a really, really nice model. I recommend getting that if you don't have it. Uh, and next to that uh, is the Caterpillar 336D. And uh, next to that is the Caterpillar 330D uh, excavator. The 330 and the 336 D series uh, machines are identical. Uh, the only thing different on my models are the cabs. I changed the two cabs on them. I reversed the cabs. The one on the 330 is from an M316 D, and the other one is just uh, it's it's its own cab, but I painted it black. Moving along, uh, there is the Komatsu PC350, uh, made by First Gear. It's a nice model. I like it a lot. Uh, decent amount of detail. The only problem is the cylinders are, are fairly loose on it, uh, the, especially the boom cylinder doesn't hold anything up. But I think uh, the same problem was uh, occurring on the old uh, 300 series Komatsu made by First Gear. But either way, a nice model, great detail. Uh, moving along, there is the Volvo EC240B. Very nice model. Uh, Again, made by Motor Art, so it's not the greatest. Uh, detail level is decent. Uh, engine cover opens on it and stuff, but it has plastic tracks, and uh, I wish there was more hydraulic lines on it. But either way, it's not a bad model for the price. I don't even remember what I got it for. It was quite a long time ago. Uh, next to that is the uh, Turex 225 uh, excavator model. Got that one for free, won it in the contest. Uh, nice model, decent detail, uh, made by NZG. And next to that is the... Uh, JCB 220, I believe, uh, long reach. It's a nice excavator model. Not the greatest. Very, very tiny bucket on it, so I really can't use it for much. But I know the long reaches uh, do, but I wish it was just slightly larger. But not a bad model overall. Uh, next to that, I have two uh, Bobcat 430s. Behind the Bobcat, you see the uh, Caterpillar D10T. T. got that. Recently, it's uh, back in January, really, really nice model. I like it a lot. I've always wanted a big D10. I have a D10, but it's an older one. The D10T is really nice. Metal tracks, everything, good detail on it. Uh, next to that is a uh, Tonkin Replicas. Focuses Tonkin Replicas 
replicas or oh, geez, replicas uh, W900 uh, dump truck. And uh, there's the Caterpillar service truck. And then behind the Cat service truck are two uh, dump trailers. One is the East dump trailer and one is a custom one I made uh, completely from scratch. The East one's on the left as you can see. Uh, moving along. In the back there, you can see the D10T, or sorry, my bad, the D10N. That's an older model. Uh, right there, you have the Cat D7E. Yeah, Cat D7E. Can't remember. I haven't used it in a while. Uh, Cat D7E. Next to that's the Cat D6T. Uh, behind the D6 is the D8T Caterpillar, and next to that is the D8R. Um, back there is the uh, John Deere uh, 850J LGP, I believe, dozer. In front of that is the uh, John Deere high-speed dozer. Uh, what's the model number on that? I think it's 8-something. Uh, 764 high-speed dozer. Um, uh, behind, uh, first right there, you can see the Cat 963D track loader. And behind that is an old International Harvester uh, 175 uh, demolition uh, loader, track loader. Um, back there is the Caterpillar uh, 655 um, paver. In front of that is the uh, Caterpillar roller. I think it's a 655 paver. I might have got that wrong. Don't hold me to it. And then back in the back there... Is another roller, and in the front is a Hom roller. Um, next to that uh, is the Caterpillar uh, Backo. I think it's a 460. And then behind that is a, uh, a Telehammer, a Cat Telehammer. Um, right there you have a uh, John Deere 2954D log loader. Uh, next to that is the 959K. Uh, I believe, uh, Feller Buncher. And then behind both of those loaders and uh, Feller Buncher is a 748H uh, log skitter. Moving along, oh, also over here, which I forgot, uh, is the 777D uh, dump truck. And then some various models. And next to that is the uh, 5080B. Uh, front shovel. Up on top, <coughs> they got a. Uh, hold on one sec. There we got a D11R uh, Caterpillar Dozer, uh, 4100 standard crawler crane, uh, 4100 tower, and 4100 ringer. Moving along. Sorry about the length, but uh, I part a few models. Uh, up there we have a Caterpillar um, 580B. Uh, what do you call it? I think it's a processor, actually. It has the processing head on it. I'm not really too familiar with logging models. Uh, that was a newer one. I got that uh, back in January also. Uh, next to that we have a Komatsu CK25 track loader. A little skid steer, actually. Um, and up there's a Turex crane uh, made by Joel. It's an older model. Uh, not the greatest, but it looks decent. Um, right there we have a P357. Uh, that goes with the East dump trailer. Next to that we have the Cat CT660 dump truck. Down here we have the Peterbilt 367 dump truck. Uh, and then we have I have three Oshkosh uh, dump trucks. The two on the right are two axle, and the other one is a three axle dump truck. And then going down the side, there are uh, all Bobcat S175s and one's an S205 uh, skid steer loaders. Right there, we have the uh, Building America uh, Oshkosh cement truck. Next to that is a Schwing. Uh, cement pump. There we have a Cat 740B ejector. Uh, 
Volvo A40D dump truck. Going down, uh, we have the, come on, there we go, uh, Bell B40D dump truck. Next to that, it's a Cat D350, D350D. And then, sorry about, uh, I got the 18,000 boom in the shot. Uh, Cat 725 dump truck. And then going down is a Volvo A25C dump truck, loader, uh, dump truck. Uh, then we got the 980G uh, front end loader, wheel loader. Uh, then we got a random, uh, I'm not too sure, it was one of the cheaper models uh, of a John Deere loader, probably a uh, 6 Series loader, I'm not really too sure. And then we got a, a WA470 uh, front end loader, Gamatsu. And then down on the bottom is a big 657G, uh, let me try to see if that'll focus there for you. There you go. Uh, Cat 657G scraper, um, 14M motor grader right there, uh, then another 613G scraper, um, big 988B front end loader, and then a 950H front end loader. Um, moving along, here is the uh, TWH Manitowoc 18000. That's the biggest crane model I have. Uh, obviously, it's a monster, awesome model. This was the revised version. This was the newer one that came out a couple few years ago. Um, the older one came out, I think, in 05, and this one came out in, was it 2014? I think it was 2012 it was released. Uh, I got it last year in April. In March, actually. The end of March, I got it of last year. Um, then we have the Manitowoc 16,000, also made by TWH. Uh, the, I also forgot, the, there's the Maxer for the 18,000. I don't have it attached now just for space purposes. Uh, right there you have the Liebherr LR 1300 crawler crane. That's the most recent crane model uh, I've added to my collection. I got that back in the end of March of this year. Um, really awesome model made by NZG. Tons of detail in it. Uh, movement, range of movement's awesome. The only thing I found to be a little bit of a problematic issue with it is it does, it is slightly unstable with the jib on it. Um, with the luffing jib, only because I think the, it doesn't have a ton of counterweight on it, so you can't really lean it too far uh, with the boom leaning, but the boom kind of has to be in a almost a 90 degree uh, position to fully uh, luff the jib around, but it's not, it really, really is a nice model. If you have the money to get one, I'd get it. Uh, next to that is a Link Belt RTC 8100. Uh, and then next to that is a Poden MDT-178 uh, tower crane. Got that model uh, this past Christmas I got it. It was a really, really nice model. Great deal on it I got from uh, diecastmodels.co. I've gotten all of my crane models except for the 4100 crawler from diecastmodels.co. And uh, purely I've gotten them from there just because uh, their prices are unbelievable. Um, on cranes and everything else pretty much. Down there is a uh, Grove uh, 5515, I believe, Yard Boss crane. Nice little model, you know, good for little things. Uh, and then next to that is a Oshkosh Snowblower. Don't remember the exact model on that uh, model number, but it's, it's a nice model. Uh, detail levels through the roof on that. TWH real well. Uh, and then next to that, I'm just going to show you, I'll show you just open view of them. I have five um, Freightliner Century Class flatbeds. Four are here. I got one on the table right now, which I'll show you in a minute. Then I have the uh, another Freightliner Century Class with the Brenner tanker, and then another uh, Freightliner Century Class with the Dry Van Wabash trailer. And then over there, I also have a uh, Freightliner Classic with uh, two trailers on it. That one came with the Bobcat models, and then another one I bought from uh, someone. Just to have an extra trailer. Now I'll move you along to here on the table. Just got a little setup going. Uh, right there, uh, behind the trees, uh, is a Cat 320D with the thumb on it. Over there is a uh, Volvo EC180B wheeled excavator. Uh, there's the other Freightliner Century Class 
flatbed uh, right behind that. Right there is one of my new models I just got. Is the uh, first gear Kenworth T880 dump truck. Really, really nice model. I like it. Uh, it's incredible. Especially the uh, construction vehicle. Do not follow uh, decal on the back and, and everything. It looks really, really awesome. On that, I have the first gear tag trailer with a uh, D5 dozer on it. Uh, right there is a Cat 924 g loader. Uh, right there we have a uh, Cat 312B with a thumb. Over there we got the Cat D5K. If it focuses on it, there you go. Uh, there's some, just a little trailer I got for uh, that came with the Bobcat Chevy uh, Silverado pickup. And then I have that's another brand new model right there. I'll show you, which is the new 938K uh, front end loader. Really, really nice model. The detail level's awesome on that also. So I'll be doing a review on that one very, very soon. And then I have the uh, North Scott Low Boy trailer with the Pete 369, I believe, on it. I think that's the model. It's not a 379, it's a 369. And uh, I got some custom fenders on it I made for it and with the uh, Trail King Low Boy. And uh, that's, that's about it. So, oh, also, really quick, which I'll show you. I know the video is extremely long. Uh, I have here uh, the last three models that I have in the collection. These are three newer ones also that I got with the last uh, unboxing. Uh, brand new Cat 980K front end loader. Uh, Cat 740B, that's the regular dump bed one versus the ejector body. And uh, brand new Hitachi's Axis 470 LCH uh, excavator. So that's about it, guys. I'm not going to talk much more. I know this video is already over 20 minutes. So that is it. Uh, those are all the models as of June 3rd, 2014. And uh, that that's it. Uh, I don't know what I'll be adding this summer or in the future. I know... Uh, Tonka Replicas is coming out with some new uh, models, uh, some logging models, a new excavator model, uh, and everything else that they've been coming out with. I might want to pick up one of those soon. I'm not really too sure. Um, but I might get a couple models this summer. I'm, not, I'm honestly not sure. If it is, it'll be something kind of surprised because uh, it'll be surprising to me if I, if I get something. Um, but I might end up buying something. I'm not really too sure. Uh, once again, though... Uh, Thank you all so much for watching and supporting my channel and uh, subscribing and everything. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And uh, look back in for some uh, reviews on the, the Cat 740B. And the uh, well, I might do one on this. I'm not really sure. But I'm definitely going to do one on the Kenworth T880 and the Caterpillar 938K uh, loader. So check back in for that, and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for everyone for watching and uh, sticking with me. If you're still... Lasted till the end. Thank you uh, so much for watching. So, thanks a lot, guys.